Hello everyone, Pallytub here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I took the liberty of leveling up a little bit. Truth be told, I had a friend come in my game and drop some souls for me, so... Like, if we're just being real with each other, that's what I did. Because I wanted to use the Butcher Knife, at least for a little bit of this game. And I wanted to use it soon because, well, um, we're not going to use it for long. I didn't want to build up all that strength just to drop it, like, five minutes later, so... Went ahead, leveled up, wanted to use the weapon, wanted to show you what it does. It has a weapon art if you put it in both hands and hit L2. We sharpen the blade. But what does that do? This increases the healing effects of the weapon. And considering we're going for a build that is very, very defensive and able to keep itself alive all the time, this is really exactly what we're looking for in a weapon for the mid to early game. Uh, we're going to be using this for a while. We are level 46. We're level 46 now. So that's the plan. Hey, how you doing? Uh -huh. you found a proper red eye. Yeah. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. I'm Ultima. Now invade and pillage. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on. Give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> And that was a clue for our next step in the quest chain. We have to go to the Cathedral of the Deep. And that's going to be a little ways off. Now, we do have the waypoint for the Fair and Keep. We're not going there just yet, although we could. What we're going to do is go to the Crucifixion Woods and get invaded by people, as one does in the woods. But our goal here is simply to make it to the boss, kill the boss as fast as possible, and move on in the campaign. Uh, so I'm going to do just that. We are going to skip some items here. For instance, there's a ring that you can get to if you drop down right there and follow this path around. I'm pretty sure it's a ring. Uh, there's enemies we can fight here if I wanted to. We're chilling. We're going straight to the... Hi, lizard. <laughs> That's my first time killing something with the weapon. I haven't used it yet. That was a monumentous kill, too. Hello. Excuse me. Hello, mages. How are you? I like your hat. It's beautiful. Just like you. Now, it may not look like we're healing for much off of this guy. That's because the R2, or excuse me, the R1, only gives us about 2 HP per swing, which is not a lot. I think if we use the R2, that's like 14, whoa. That's like 14 HP for an R2. But that's without sharpening the blade. So if we do commit to using that weapon skill, we are going to use a little bit of our mana. We are going to give up some of that. But the benefit should make up for it with just pure HP gain in combat without having to stop and drink. So I'm going to get to full HP. I believe this lasts for a minute, so we're going to use it right now. And see if we can defeat the Crystal Sage. Shouldn't be that hard, right? It's just the Crystal Sage. But if we do take damage, uh, we should be able to heal right away. We're looking for the one with the purple magic. Oh, there it is. Hello. Were you staggered? I'm so sorry. Oh, I tried to get an R2 in there, but he jumped underground in time. How unfortunate. Looks like the effect wore off. We'll just go ahead and sharpen this again, just in case. Now, this is not going to be our main strategy for the majority of the game, just so we're all on the same page with that. This whole sharpening thing, it's, it's just a phase that we're going through. Oh, I just really, I had double microphone on this whole time. How, how jarring. So what I'll do in editing is edit out my good sounding commentary up until this point in the video. So the first four minutes, you're going to have really weird stream quality, Mike, and it's going to be real jarring. But you know what? Mistakes happen, team. Mistakes happen. Uh, we are... Looking for the purple one. There he is. Of course, it makes sense that when I'm trying to actually show you the healing capabilities of what this can do, we haven't taken a single point of damage at all. Of course. Why not? Where's the real one? You're not the real one. There we go. We took some damage. Oh, that's not bad. These guys die right away. But here, let's go hit the real one. Oh, it faded. Whoa, chill out, man. Fuck. 
Relax a little bit. All right. I'm coming in, Crystal Sage. With an R2! And another one! He still has one health, doesn't he? Unbelievable. Nope. There he is. There he is. Good night, sweet prince. I like your hat, though. Give it to me. I want it. Soul of the Crystal Sage and a bonfire to rest our feet at. Now, we're only sitting at 12,000 souls right now. There we go. We got a little bit more. I'm not going to go ahead and spin those yet. Although, I do definitely want to sit down at the bonfire and not just light it. We are going to try to get to the Cathedral of the Deep in this video. Now, I am recording this in between live streams for Squadron, so we are on a very limited time frame here. I have roughly 45 minutes of actual playtime to get there. And I don't really remember how to get there. So whether or not we will be successful... Oh, I'm not even going the right way. Am I? Hold on, I don't really remember. Excuse me. Thank you, bye. That was rude. I was leaving. Isn't there a boss here that can be a bit of a bit of a bastard? I didn't know this bonfire was here, so I guess we'll sit down. I guess I could have kept moving. Isn't there a bandit like immediately in front of us here? Hello? Oh, yeah, this looks familiar. We'll go ahead and sharpen the blade. Get it ready for combat. Hey, sunshine. Oh, you're a fallen knight like me. You look pretty. You move a lot. I don't like that. Look at that healing. That's not bad at all. Here, look, look, look. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. Now, this is only a taste of what the build will have in store, just for the record. We're gonna, we're gonna be like a walking ball of health. And I'm really looking forward to it. The Paladin's Ashes. Well, that's timely. Do we level up here? I think I can just keep running through all of this, to be totally honest. I'm trying to be as efficient on time as possible, but if I lose these souls, I'm actually going to be pretty upset. Oh, the struggle. Um, I feel like there's an item that way. I don't know for sure. Hello, Bandit! Yo, come at me, bandit. Come at me, though. That was a really heavy attack that you recovered from very quickly. You're quite agile, Mr. Bandit. Not agile enough. Okay, maybe you're the exact amount of agile that you need to be. Enemies in Dark Souls like this guy are kind of challenging if you're a new player, but just keep in mind, you can just run by these guys. In most cases. Which is really weird. It's weird that the game is challenging only when you actually decide to do stuff and, in most cases, doesn't punish you when you run through things. It's always been a little weird that way, though. The spider shield has been acquired! Alright. I seem to remember there being a lot of people in this place, so let's just go ahead and get this ready. There's already motherfuckers shooting crossbows at me. There's a dog here. Come here, Doc! Doc! So every time we take damage, I want to at least be getting close to healing for all the damage that we just took. Like, I want to make it back through dealing damage. And that's really the whole intention of this build. Inevitably, there won't be downtime to drink. We'll just always be in go mode. We'll just always be on the offensive. And that should be a lot of fun. I think. I think it'll be fun. Yo, don't shoot me, though. All right, R2. Oh, yeah. That'll do. What's this way now? Oh, is this where the... Oh, no, this is where I thought... Okay. Cathedral of the Deep. We've done it. This is, is exactly where I wanted to be. Fantastic. For some reason, I thought I was going to be taking a different path, but no, this is exactly where I wanted to be. This is good. Now, how do... I fucking get to where I'm trying to go. Uh, who's this guy? Hello? Wait. You What are you doing? 
You've the same scent as that woman. What woman? Then you must be an action one. You must be. Oh. <laughs> you don't know how long I've searched. This guy's weird. Oh. He looks like he's ready to take it in the butt. Like, just right in there. Come on. What are you doing? Could this be a poor soul? Oh, don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. Now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Arian. Oh, this is a DLC. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, thank you. Um. Day of Ash never fails. Um, there, um, I was, uh, I was in the middle of something. I... The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Fuck. Go on. Take it. Touch it. Yeah, you okay. I'll touch it. Oh! Oh, is this a painted world? And then the ashes were too. Fuck. <laughs> we're in a painted world, aren't we? Um. Um. You know, I was, uh, I was trying to do some, something. Can, uh, oh, fuck. Hmm. <sighs> Gross. Huh? Huh? Uh, have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend, for this is a true haven of the forlorn, the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, ah, yes, of course. You're no exception. We've all seen terrible things but you're safe now let it ease your burden save Ariandel will make a fine home for you I want to leave so, go on ahead find one for yourself a sweetly rotting bed to lie upon quick a sweet I want to leave Oh no. It is a painted world. Is it gonna let me leave though? Okay, fuck. Good. Good, good, good. Cause I, um, in, in the Dark Souls 1, the reason why that's so important, in Dark Souls 1 it was actually really difficult to get into the painted world if you didn't know how to do it. You had to find a very specific item that was in a jail cell that you started the game at. And in order to get in there, you had to find a secret bird's nest to carry over there. Like, it was a multi-step process, right? But once you were in the painted world, you could not leave until you got to the end of it. So I was really worried that that would stunt my, pro my progress pretty hard, but it seems like we're gonna be fine. It's only one level up, that sucks. All right, so we are going to continue making our way through the Cathedral of the Deep.
I think I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I know where I'm supposed to go. And I'm going to try to do that in the next 15 minutes of real life time. I don't know what that'll be in video time. So I need to be pretty quick. Now, we are in human form here, or we're embered, or whatever the proper term is. So um, we are very likely to get invaded. And if we do get invaded, I'm probably going to die because I'm shit at this game. So there is an SS flash shard. We'll bring that to Andre later on. But as of right now, we are all about making progress here. Oh, I need to, just in case, uh, I bought a torch. I was actually really proud of myself the first time I played through this game. A lot of people think that my blind let's play wasn't blind because when I was here and I was hit with the maggots, I knew, like, just something told me I could burn them off, right? Just instinctually, I, I wanted to burn them off. So because of that, because I brought a torch out and that was actually what I was supposed to do, a lot of people thought that my blind let's play wasn't blind. Which, I mean, people can think whatever the fuck they want, right? I don't care. All right. I don't really remember where I'm supposed to go. So normally when I'm trying to run through things, when I'm trying to speed run content, I have a pretty clear idea of the end destination. This time, no fucking clue. Uh, so... A little, it's a little dangerous. That guy killed himself? He sure did. You were so young. Oh, uh, no, not that way. This way. Whoa! Fucking big ass halberd in front of me all of a sudden. Oh, this is not looking good. Actually, this is fine. We could just jump off here. Ha! I tricked you, you sons of bitches. Okay. I feel like these enemies are getting significantly more aggressive. And I feel like there's one right behind me. Can you guys come in here? Shit. No, stop chasing me! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it. You can chase me as much as you want to, I guess. Oh, you can come in here too. Fuck. You guys get around. Um. Hello. You know, I don't want to break your tables and stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I was going up here. Well, shit. <laughs> um. Well, at least we got away from those guys, right? Where's this? Where am I? Oh, is this the path back to the bonfire? <laughs> Not bad! Not bad! Okay. Alright. 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 Okay. So, uh, I need to go up. Higher up than this will take me. I think. I, I don't... I don't really know how to... Oh, right. I have to run through this part, right? I remember this now. Keep an eye on him. Don't let him hit us. We're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, you're just so handsome. Oh, I mean, pretty. Sorry. I didn't know you had a preference. We, we never talked about that. See if I can, well, that guy didn't even chase me. I was gonna say, let's see if I can get some health off of that guy, but. Oh, fuck. The chain was reaching out to me, and then I knew, I knew I was a dirty, rotten liar. Hey, we got some decent health back there. Oh, 
Got another divine tome. I never unlocked the character to actually give these to, so... You know, if we ever do that, that'll be cool. Do I need to fight him? I mean, I don't feel like it. Need to find the elevator up. Is it that way? How do I get by him? Oh, Captain Kirk! I forgot you were in this game. Come here. I missed you. Why are you trying to kill me like that? I thought we were going to hug Cap- Whoa, Kirk. Seriously. You hit hard, man. You hit real hard. And you damage me when you're rolling this game too, right? Yeah. Yeah, Kirk, you're an asshole. I was so happy to see you and everything. But no, Palatine can't have nice things. I'm Captain Kirk. I just want to kill everybody all the time. It's not even for a spider this time or anything. Actually, it might be. I don't know. Kirk, you killing people for a spider again? Is that what you're doing? All right, I feel like that. I feel like that went great. How do I go up? Uh, is uh, it um. That's the way to the boss. Right? So... Uh... Maybe it's this way. No. Oh, is this the bonfire again? <laughs> oh no, it's an elevator! Oh, this is this the bonfire? I feel like I'm close to the bonfire. Oh my god. This is so much easier when I'm not trying to stop and fight everything. I remember I had a really hard time with this place. Okay, so this goes up. I think we did it! Team! I think we did it! Ouch. Stop. So... Uh... Aha! Oh, this is... This is great! I feel so accomplished right now. So accomplished. I'm just trying to heal up a little bit, 2 HP at a time. I don't want to sharpen the blade or anything for that. What's a deep ring? What's that do? Um, I feel like there's a lot of people incoming. All right, Halberd guy, I need to heal. Oh, I'm gonna need you guys to chill the fuck out. For real though, for real though. You're both so quick. And I don't feel like you should be. Oh, this looks like the place. Ow! Oh, no! Oh, fuck! That was so close! Yeah, you die. And I'm trying to go there, right? Maybe? Yeah, that's where I'm trying to go. Okay, so we'll do it this way. Do it. We'll do it this way. Ouch. Oh, you have a crossbow. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, yeah! Yeah, that works. <laughs> oh my god. This is going so fucking well. This is going so incredibly well. Hello. I'm just going to pull this. Wait, what does that do? Does that raise gates? 
and then I can walk on the tops of the gates. Dual charm. Wait, do I want to walk across? No, it's this way. Hello. I remember you guys being a lot more aggressive here. So just, just use guys. Use guys. Oh, here they all come. Okay. And then, uh, we're, we're good, right? We're cool? Okay. Now. I'm pretty sure I was meant to come in here. And talk to this lovely lady. I'm almost certain this is what I was supposed to do to continue on that quest chain with that guy, the finger dude. All right, we'll go ahead and reset everything. Helm of Thorns. We can roll and kill people now. Hello. Um, yeah, okay. We have a finger. You obtain proof of the covenant. All right. Uh, I don't think I want to level up because I only have one pale tongue and I need to hold on to that. So do I go? I think I go back and talk to him at the Firelink Shrine now. This is a really long quest chain. Actually, it's probably not that bad. I don't think I've ever actually done anyone's quest chains in this game, so... This is my first one, and I'm already complaining about it. God, you're such a good person, Pally. Is he up there? Can't tell. If he's not up there, then he went back to that place that we were just at. Oh, hello. Now invade and kill it, and if you grow weary of your duties, come You've become on, a finger. To <laughs> I... I did... Hmm. Apparently, I need to offer one pale tongue to this chick. But not rank up in the covenant. So, here, here you go. That's the, that's the only one I have. Did I rank up? I don't know. And now, ah, that was it! And now this guy just magically fucking teleported in, even though I just walked all the way over here. Now we're going to talk to him and get all of his dialogue. Ah, so you've chosen to serve Rosaria after all. She will be pleased with me for finding her another finger. <laughs> but be warned, my friend. Rosaria's fingers need only fetch tongues for their mistress. Otherwise, we are free, unchained. Like Yellowfinger, you can choose to believe that all fingers share camaraderie. But do not force your romance upon the rest of us. <laughs> so I guess that's all of his dialogue. Rosaria's okay, I thought there would be more than that. Alright, so that's all for now. We're getting one step closer to having our spell with each of these things that we do. Uh, will this kill me? Seems like it might. Is there an easier way down? Maybe. Can I go around that way? Looks like there's a door up there. Let's see what this is. Cause I don't remember. I know where the boss is. It's right down there. Um, but I'm not sure how to actually get to it without jumping down. That, that drop looked a little too high. Little too high. So this is the entrance to this area that we couldn't open before. We didn't even try because I already knew that. Uh, this is the elevator. Contraption does not move. Yeah, that's a death. 
So, uh, maybe there's a staircase over on this side. It's definitely an item here. Oh, you're so. How did you deduce that, Pally Time? Oh, you're just so good at this game. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think we can live through that. I don't know. Maybe we can. I'll see if there's stairs down over here. If not, well, we're about to take that jump. Hello. Yep, taking the jump, team. Fuck. Well. 